Hey guys, I'm gonna do a video right now showing you my rabbits and just teaching you about my rabbits a little bit because I know most of you know that I have them but you've never seen them or I've never done a video with them but I want to because they're just the sweetest little babies and I want you guys to know them, okay? So this right here is Boba. Boba is about two years old. She's a Holland Lop. Both of my rabbits are Holland Lops. Um, we prefer them because they have the, the floppy ears and my family loves that. Baby, come here. Um, rabbits are really smart animals and they're amazing pets. They're essentially like puppies, but they don't bark. <laughs> but other than that, they do a lot of the same things, especially if you treat them well and you love on them. They'll be the best pets you've ever had. She even gives kisses like puppies give kisses. Like if you pet her head like that and put your hand under her, she'll like... Their diet consists mainly of hay and little pellets, water, um, carrots, lettuce. I mean, actually that's a misconception. You're really not supposed to feed rabbits that many carrots because there's too much sugar in the carrots and that's not good for them. Look, Bobby, come say hi. Can you come sit over there and say hi? She doesn't listen to me. The only difficult thing about having bunnies is that they require a lot of attention, just like dogs do. And a lot of people will adopt rabbits without thinking about the fact that they need just as much time and care as, literally, as a dog. Like, they can't be left alone. They need love. They're so emotional and they're so... They need to just love attention and they get so excited when you come like she runs up to the door just like a dog would like when we get home She's the sweetest thing. So don't plan on getting a rabbit if you're not going to spend time with it if, if you're thinking that a rabbit's more like a Fish that you leave in a bowl and you don't have to take care of that's not true Like you will have to be with them a lot. I Can't back home in LA. I don't have enough time to be with them or give them enough attention so I keep them here at my mom's house she does a great job at being their grandma and taking care of them mm, it's okay this is Bailey hmm. Bailey is about two and a half months old right now she's still a little baby we named her Bailey because our other rabbit that you just met her name is Boba and we wanted them to both have drink names um, that started with a B so that they could, you know, match each other. So this is Bailey, named after Bailey's Irish Cream. And Boba is named after Boba Tea. She's way more calm um, than any other baby rabbit I've had. She just doesn't mind attention whatsoever. You can pick her up. She's fine with it. Most rabbits don't like to be picked up. So that's another thing. If you buy a rabbit, don't expect to be able to just throw it around like a dog like rabbits don't like that it really scares them but she's always been so good with it she doesn't mind a couple tips on baby rabbits um you don't want to adopt a baby rabbit if it's not from a breeder which sounds odd because i know everyone's like against breeders breeders are bad but here's the thing breeders will know like a good reputable breeder with a website reviews references they will know when the babies are actually ready to leave their mother. And a huge problem with buying rabbits off the street or finding a litter of rabbits and taking one home, something like that. I know a lot of people do things like that. Um, those rabbits have not been weaned from their mom and they will die. They're usually have, they've been taken away from their mom too early they still need the nutrients that they get from her milk and they can't do that if they you should never adopt a rabbit until it's about it's two months old like two months old is the minimum of amount of time it needs with its mom so um any rabbits that you'll know too if a rabbit is too young they'll just be abnormally tiny like she was a little smaller she was a little smaller than this when we first got her um but not much and me and Colin recently, um, we were walking in downtown and we came across a cage in this hot sun with a bunch of baby rabbits in it. And of course me with my rabbit love, I couldn't help it. I had to buy one. So I bought one of the rabbits, rescued it. That was Luna. She was all over my Instagram stories. I don't know if you guys saw her. 
and unfortunately within 24 hours we went to go check on her um, in the morning and she had passed away and it was probably a mix of the fact that she was way too young to be away from her mom she we fed her and in her cage she had that we found her and she had no food so she probably was overstimulated scared because of going to a new place and honestly just exhausted in malnutrition because she hadn't been taken care of properly so don't um don't adopt rabbits from people like that because you're just encouraging them and like letting them think that it's okay to do when it's not they need to be with their mom for the appropriate amount of time do you see how holland lops have these cute little fluffy ears the hangover oh you don't like it you don't like it no i'm sorry super easy to take care of you just have to make sure you give them the right amount of time that you keep their cage clean um and that you feed them properly and make sure they have water and like make sure they stay out of too hot temperatures too cold temperatures they're just like any other animal they can't survive in that kind of situation you should not leave your rabbits in the sun they should always be in the shade they should always have enough room to run around don't keep them in a cage that's no way for an animal to live they should be able to roam around a yard or if you have a porch area like we do then that's big enough for them to explore and have fun then that's great <laughs> what are you hiding back here baby why are you hiding oh she's spooked She's like, Mom, I don't understand. Okay. <laughs> well, that's that. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys learned something. And I hope you guys like my cute little babies. Um, if you have any questions, I can do another video with them, I guess, sometime. Maybe. But leave any questions, comments, concerns below, and I'll try to respond to you guys. Leave any other suggestions of videos that I should do later or something like that. And, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching.